What is this? Look. Look at this. Well, uh, spam. What? Is this spam or smash? Well, you bet you. Yeah. It's a hybrid. It's a hybrid of hybrids of hybrids of hybrids. Who do? Right? It's cooked up and it's cooked up and then sold to you as something. Whoa, look, I'm smashing, smashing to smashes and look, whoa. Somehow it's bash novelty or bash old news. Who knew? Or somewhere in between. And this and that and this and this and nothing. Right? Everybody just keeps living. You know, gen generation in, generation out. Oh, wow, still going on. And somehow, whatever it is that they're building, somehow is like, wow, it's going to save them from being smashed. It's going to save them from life, people, and hybridize it with its man's own creation. And this and this and that and this and this. and No. What smash? The ultimate rebel, defier, listening to the murmurs in the dark, right? The defiance. The only defiance, Lucifer, who knew. And you worship him and you do as I will. But really, you're not, you're not doing what you want. You're, you're doing what you're going along with in, 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 with everyone else. We're all picking little careers, little paths, little pickets of stone and this and that, little titles and t t things we like to be called. And things we would like to be called. And that's why we're going to bash, create a character that's going to take us through the next bash scene. And, oh, fine, I messed that scene up. Okay, can we have a redo? Okay, ready, and bash action. Okay, let's go. Let's do it again. Okay. And you call it different relationship, and you call it different marriage, and you call it different children. And, oh, I hate my children, so I just bash, gave them away. And I'm just trying a new life now. I wasn't ready for a family then, but now I am. Oh, not to mention the relentless babies I smashed just because I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Nope. Nobody's ever ready for life. Nope. Life just happened from nothing. Don't you know? Just life was just smashed. So I wasn't ready for something because I, I, I'm just nothing. I'm just nothing. I have to bash, create some bash little thing that I can bash little paper thing and ink and then say, whoa, I'm amazing. In order to just know what life is and truly be happy and truly have some notion of bash love and certainty. Certainly, I need all these bash things I've, I've manipulated and said, bash, nah, nah, I need this and this is progress and this is the future. Well, what a shame. And this all because he's, he's on a, like a typewriter or something. Wow, this the CPA new face, 30S, who knew 30 slices of shank mode into the bash gullet through the bash liver think cpas are stuck in the past think again well okay i'm we thinking again change. bring human judgment to ai oh first of all well we provoke change because apparently change needs to be provoked people otherwise apparently there is no such thing as change you need to provoke it go into the lion's den and just smash the lion with a bat Go in there, bash, put your foot, bare foot into the anthill. Just provoke it and see what happens. We'll smash it up and just see how the ants bash and sting me. And this and that, but somehow you are witnessing. And that is life, people. Look, you just smash an anthill and, the, whoa, look. Now you can get to call li little names and say, whoa, this is this is what this is happening. And this is, this is what that's happening. And look, people, it's life. No, what a shame. Abusers of life, uh, uh, just ultimate abusers of life, of oneself and others. Who knew? Just asking in a relentless stupor. Oh, what's going on? But I don't know. But somehow these CPAs know because they provoke change, and they set bad bash guidelines. What did she say? Oh, relentless. Think CPAs are stuck in the past? Think again. We provoke change. Okay. Bring human judgment to AI. Bring human judgment to AI. This is all CPAs, people. The CPA, who knew? The CPA. Oh, right, so fusing with AI. That's what CPAs do? Wow, amazing. Who knew that's what CPAs do? The new face, people. Keep business thriving in a green economy. Okay, all bash words that just trigger your brain and just explode. And you're like, yes, look, wind turbines. Wow, I know what they are. 
And so, yeah, they're going to bash, smash this image in there. And I've been bashed to just smash and say, whoa, yes, the future. Right. And, you, and so that, whoa, this person now walking down the catwalk is the future. Whoa, who knew the CPA was just amazing. Let's make more. Let's make more of whatever this person is trying to bash. Who knew? And plant the seeds for new opportunities. Oh, amazing. This is the face of Oh, she was going to say it. Let's hear it again. And plant the seeds for new opportunities. Okay, wow. Plant the seeds for new opportunities. So they plant the seed of what you will think is a dream. Exactly. You have no dreams. You dream in alignment with the bashhood of the ways of the world, meaning your goals and your set bash life that you want to create, supposedly. And you're just satisfaction of how you're not quite there yet. Or you are in eternal bliss, but then you're just going to bash work and make a carving out of yourself in the real bash flesh. And create a legacy and just spread love and light and some bashhood of green notion of being. Just because you want to be like Gaia and you want to be like her somehow. So go ahead. Go and then become a CPA then because you want to be like her. So she is bash the new face of CPA. And let's go. Let's go. Let's go through this tunnel, everyone. Look, it's a bash guy that is screened at the end of the tunnel. Who knew? Walk and actually, no. Catapult yourself as fast as and hard as you can straight through this tunnel and then smash into that image and hopefully it'll be a good fuse and you'll just appear in the screen and we'll be seeing you soon, buddy. We'll be seeing you soon. This is the face of integrity, oh. of big data. Of big data. So apparently, people, if you didn't know. This is the face. That's integrity. Who knew? Okay, thank you, integrity. Thank you. Next time I look for integrity, I'll be like, wow, where's that guy? I don't see any integrity around. I don't see integrity. Where is integrity? Integrity! Apparently, this is Scott Cuquello. But he's the face of integrity. Who knew? So, CPAs are, they're so, they're just so enlightened, right? Integrity. Wow, they're wholesome. They eat whole grains every day, just mashed in their own bash pan every morning at 4 a.m. This guy gets up at like 2.35 and he's saying, I'm going to smash my oats and I want to bash it and smash, smash it and smash it. And then he's like, oh, okay. He goes back to sleep and then he gets up and poops and says, wow, that just, I'm a, like a duck. It just ate and came out. And this and this and that and that and this and this. He's like, wow, I'm the ultimate purger. I am. And this and this and that and everybody's boasting their godlike appearance and how they aspire to just be immaculate, just pristine, pure through technology and through knowing what the teeny teeny tiny things and how we can manipulate it all and just smash powder with powder and make other powder and say smash, put it on me and give it into me. Just put it in me as fast as you can and smash it and smash it and smash it and somehow it's going to hybridize into the smash hood that we dream about, right? So those are the bash seeds that this person is talking about. Just planting the seeds of the smash hood. Right? Fusing the man's wisdom with AI or some bash like that. Whatever she said. Base of integrity. Of big data. Big data. Of leadership. Leadership. If you didn't know a leader, guys, know this guy. Okay? CPAs have what it takes to advance integrity. Of big data. Of leadership. Okay, if you have, if you've never seen a leader, this guy. Okay, certainly Alexander Ferreira Silva, right? This guy will definitely smash you into, you guessed it, anything you want, anything you want under the sun. For there's nothing new under the sun. You can just smash, smash things together and call it whatever you want, and all of a sudden, whoa, it's new. No. Well, the way we're using it is new. No. Who knew there's only life outside of God manipulating and worshiping, following a false image, an idol that is it's just destined 
to just disappear, smithereens, nothing. The allurement, the trap, the doubt, the split, the defiance. What is disobeying, right? Surely if there was some bash, right, early human, right, they were going to pass on. Were they going to pass faulty data, data that would get their bash child murdered, right? And this and this and this are just killed for no reason and that or this or this. No, why? No. Man and well, man knew. Okay, man knew always what it was to be alive. Who knew? It's only through deception that man becomes bashed. For he sees the knowledge of good and evil, which is surely death. It's what we've known. It's been the generations that we so have supposedly bash recorded in our teeny tiny writings and this and this and that. Certainly there was no half bash I ape ape because this, this leader will tell you. He's like, guys, do I look like an ape? Of course not. I'm the ultimate leader. Uh, my name might have been Caesar at one point, but I changed it because I didn't want to be associated with a guy from the movies and this and this and the revolt against the bash humans and this and this. So I certainly do not look like an ape. I'm the ultimate leader. So therefore, why would an ape be the leader? No, 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 no. Guys, look, I'm the smashing, most handsome, chiseled face you've ever seen. And this and this and this and that. I have such the ratio of my face is just super symmetrical. I got shadows everywhere where you want them. And this gaze, half open, half closed. You, He got us. That's why he's the ultimate leader. Yes. Who knew? Right? This and this and that. And apparently it's CPAs. Who knew? What is going on? Half bash ape. Right? You believe, Everyone believes they're a smash quarter ape or something. But no. They get titillated when they're like, wow, you're one sixteenth. Italian, and you have this, this, this. We have Mongol blood, and this. Wow, wow! Everybody's just bash losing their mind. They want to connect with something. They want to know. They want to know, right? But you will never know in the ways of the world. For the ways of the world just pass you around, toss you, contort you, bend you, and tell you sweet nothings until you just receive it without even asking why it hurts. And you're saying, "No, no, no! We need it. This is the best. We just need to trust that it's gonna turn." around that there's just enough of us that we're going to just get turn our things around everyone no turn things around from from what to where and from where to what right and this and this and we we'll know what's going on what ultimate deception man has no clue and they'll boast about how much they know but they'll admit they know nothing and they will never know but we will get the best that we can to our no our to our knowledge the best of our knowledge from our bash little Harry Potter bash formulas and this and this and what we account for in the data. But we don't actually know what we're doing. We just have bash things that we meander in and out and then go out and prove them. Prove the thoughts and then just smash them out there. Make the models, the graphs, the little teeny Harry Potter bash formulas to go along with it and say, look, it's proof. I did it. Look, it's right there. Look. Guys, I did it. If you didn't know, my name is Alexandra Ferreira Silva. And that's, I did it. Look, everyone, look, I solved it. I figured out the formula. And the formula says this. And look, it's everything. Who knew? Right. So we apparently know everything, but we know nothing. Well, so we know nothing, but we know everything. And we certainly know the future because we know the best. We know the best from our half bash ape nothing cousin that just didn't have a clue. Right? And it reminds me again of the most endearing character of all time. You guessed it. Right? Simple Jack. Simple Jack. Okay? The movie that changed the world. Right? Made man believe that he was Bash Half Horse. And this and this and that and that. And can't they just get along? Can't a man just love the way he loves and just be accepted by everyone and this and this and that? Wow. Well, what's going on? No. No, no, no. It's just a movie within a movie and who knows? It's just passion, passion, but somehow it's supposed to be funny. Right, because apparently 
this guy is funny, and it's apparently he's just simple Jack. Whoa, who knew? Just simple Jack. He just bash can't even speak. That's how simple he is because he's he could be <clears throat> he could be this guy, right? I mean, early man of some bash sense of who knows, but they apparently were around because. We found little teeny tiny things that tell us that, well, it looks like our skulls, but they're our daddy. These people were our mommies and daddies. Who knew? Right? So an ape is going to die and again, a bash find its, you know, humans one day, humans remains, and be like, wow, these bashes were my daddy somehow. I'm a half bash ape, and these people were just smashed bash who knows what. But they're my daddies because I found them in the ground, everybody. I found them in the ground, so they're my daddy. They're my daddy, and I say so, and look at them. They're my daddy. Just so similar. <clears throat> right? Because otherwise, uh, yeah, who knows? No, 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 it can't be. It can't be that. I mean, it has to be that. Yes, of course it has to be that. And you say, see? It's just a progression of just it's 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 been a slow rise, the slow rise of what uh some betterment of somehow, who knows? But it's doing something. But we get to say what it is. Whoa, what a shame! You get to say what it is when you admit you don't you can't even come close to knowing. So why what are you, what are you even trying? What are you trying to do? Uh, we're trying to just launch into space that we know for. I mean, we're we're in it. We're in it, and we're just sending smashes everywhere, and we know we receive the ribbons of data, and it just computes. We're in a vast space that's just smashed, so we need to get to the other smashes, okay? As fast as we can. Let's bash abandoned Earth. Uh, just, just call it a day, people. That's the future. Because, look, we, we came from just spearing bash hogs and bash buffalo to just smashing... Right to making an image of a guy smashing with a buffalo. Now, now they're friends. Now they're friends, everybody. Uh oh, now they're friends. Bash, right? Man was killing animals, with beasts before, apparently, and now they're best friends. And this, and this, and that, and that. No, and you're the ultimate animal activist. And I fight for animal rights and this and that and this and this and that. Wow, what shame. What shame. For what does it accomplish? Nothing. You guessed it. Just further smash hood. Further hacking away and creating some bash illusion of an image that you're moving towards. You're getting closer, people. You're getting closer. Or you're getting further away, where whichever you choose to believe. Getting closer to what? Uh, until the break point. You know, mass hysteria, just overpopulation, vaccines just co corroded through our eyeballs. And we're just getting relentlessly bashed, confused by the bash frequencies that they're bashing us in and this and that. No, which... They're polluting our food and their air and the water and all our food source. And it's just mayhem. It's smashing. It doesn't mean a thing. But somehow I'm afraid. And I'm just preparing. I'm preparing for the mass just chaos and bash st stealing of life. And taking of bash hoods and smashing and just condoning of new bash. But no. It's going to be willing. People are going to follow to it. They're going to bash just follow it. Because everyone's following it. And following, of course, it's been a following. We've been chasing the dragon. Straight into the abyss. Who knew? Darkness and blackness forever. Who knew? No, no, no. But no, 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 no. Of course it's not that, you bash. It's just infinite space and just amazing. And it's going to be a good time. Great time just... Exploring all ancient aliens and bash hoods of bash hoods of the different dimensions of the solar plexus of the moons. Of the inverse planets and the constellations of the teeny tiny stars that align somehow. But somehow we worship them and what they mean because it's relentless gods. And they just bash and give us messages and bash and we do their bidding. And this and that and that. And we sacrifice in their bash names and this and this and that. Because sometimes we just have to take all we can. 
to use all resources when necessary. So sometimes we'll use these cards and then we'll use these other ones next. And sometimes they're in favor and out of favor, but that's why we observe the stars. So we know what's going on and we just mimic what's going on in the heavens down on earth and this and this and smash and smash. And oh, it's just, oh, syncretism, syncretism and bash and this and this and that and bash and bash and the holy science and this. What are you talking about? Clearly, it all points back to God, not some bash glorification of bash worship of, oh, look at the pattern Saturn makes around who knew the nebula of some sock filled with some goo. Right? No. What a shame. What is going on? Surely, you're this guy just about to just puke. Just puke. Just puke. Look, he's like, oh, my belly doesn't feel quite right. And he's, and he's in the toilet relentlessly. Vacating all fluids. Just out. Out. And apparently these cavemen were doing cave paintings because it was so ritual, the ritualistic hunt. They were bash savagely just bash hunting and just forging and gathering and somehow just bash. But they knew nothing. They knew nothing. Uh, they somehow put all these furs over them just like bash cave people. But mm, they knew nothing. They knew nothing. All they knew was just bash. Horse. Bash. Me go hide. Oh, me go hunt food and this. No, what shame. How would this bash even know to ride a horse or chase a bash horse or hunt? How do you do that? You say, well, we're just a bash animal. We have instinct, bud. Instinct of what? Of how to just stick your finger up your butt? Who shows you? Who shows you how to live? If not the father. Who knew? For every man knows. Every man has that certainty, yet... We move further and further away, creating our version of it and uh, tying to that, having that be our anchor and our, our footstool, when in fact we're being crushed under it by our own hand. But no. The truth maketh a man free. De shackles him from any bashhood of just terror. Life is terror, but you're sold in and you're purchasing as much change as you can. Purchasing, 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 investing, 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 and hopefully it's going to turn better. Hopefully, hopefully. So just hopefully by what we trade and sell, bash, consume and this, we're, we're going to make it better, guys. Didn't you know? It's called, it's called consumer bash demand and supply and this and this and that's how you make communities and networks and this. No, what a shame. Right? Because clearly, man, they, they knew how to, you know, bash, forage and, and, and hunt and all this, but they knew nothing. They knew, they knew enough to bash put paint on their hand or blood or whatever it is and put an imprint on a rock. And you're like, well, of course, that's signs of intelligence. But their intelligence was limited. They didn't know and as much as we know. Because they didn't have a telescope then. Or they didn't know what the light in the sky was. So that way it was just, who knows? Who knows? It's just never going to be known. So I'm just going to cook up different stories. But somehow all the stories pointed to some bash zodiac wheel. And the, and the bash, what? identification of points of light in the sky. Wow, amazing. And how they've been used for navigation and this and, and so many other things. Wow, for seasons and this and blah, 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 blah. And so many things, right? It's almost like a little clock. But you're like, no, 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 no. It's just all random, means nothing. It's just mash and this and that and this, you know, bash and not da, 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 da. And clearly north points to the bash pole, like, magnetic something. And then there's the geographic north pole and then there's the magnetic north pole. So which one you're talking and then it shifts every so often and no, it doesn't. And somehow it's this and never that. But sometimes it's who knows because we only know a little bit of the sliver that we say is nothing. But trust us, guys, because we're the experts at everything. And look, we have little teeny tiny things in the vast darkness of Bash sending us pictures back in rivers of data. Who knew? And there's things on other ba Bash terra firma, on other Bash things that we call lights in the sky. And it's it's there. Don't you know? It's called the Bash little Tonka. 
he's out there smashing with Bob the Builder and just making it habitable for man before we send bashes out there. But it's coming, guys. It's coming. Don't you worry. Invest, 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 invest. More technology, more technology. And all the experts will pump out the best imagery you will ever see in your life. Because it's so intelligent. We've come from bash putting blood on a rock to bash creating bash fantasy on a, on a bash screen. And people guzzle it by the gallons a minute. But it's also good. It feels like you're in it to win it. And you're in it and you're fighting so hard for the next bash, next best thing. No, desolation. At best. For fully man is under full deceit of Lucifer being given false promise rewards in the flesh for truly the most wicked of results death forever for surely there's the death when you bash your body is just cold Right? Turns cold. But what's death? Because what was life? If you died, what's life then? You're like, well, it was nothing. Life was nothing. Life was nothing. It's only a bash, a little thing that just, it's just a blash blob. That's what life is. It's just a blash blob that's somehow animated because it's the electricity and smash and the chemicals in it. But somehow the chemicals just stop. Somehow they just give out. If the DNA stops replicating and it just it says, okay, guys, time to shut her down. And it's just programmed. And after that, they're just like, okay, guys, it was a good run. It was a great run. And uh, we're just going to quit. We were going to we were going to keep going, but we're going to quit now. That's why we're hoping this bash flesh figures out to come and tinker with us to fix us because surely we are a disease. Death is a disease and needs to be fixed, right? Even though that's what you know life to be in the, your eyes. Life, to you, life is just death. There's nothing, and it's only me and what I can get and fill my gut. Gu just fill my gullet. Just spew it in and out. The relentless friction day in, day out. Can't get enough of it. All because, oh, I'm just so affable. Everybody will understand me because I'm so full of confidence and just boasting and self-love because I don't care what the world thinks of me because I'm too simple to even consider that, to even come to contemplate what that means. So that's why I come across as some bash child that knows nothing, even though I'm bash 50 or however this guy is supposed to be, however old that bash is supposed to be. But what's going on in living color, right? You say exactly. The color tells us. It gives us the sign. We know. We know not to stay. We stay away from the bash bright colored animals because, wow, they're poisonous usually. So it, it isn't color just beautiful people, but animals see color in different ways. Didn't you know? And somehow it's just, okay, everything has bash ability to sense their surroundings. And the ability to see is just incredible. Don't you think, guys? Wow, it's just incredible. Simple Jack does. He knows. So he sees something and he's just going for it. So what do we see in life? What do we see? It's surely it's not our sense of fantasy of what we're going to become. No, we're the same in th throughout. From the time we're born till the day we die. It's the same. There's no past change. There's no best change. That's where you're like, oh, I'm 60 and I feel, I feel, I feel 18. I'm a young bug forever, right? This, and you're like, I'm a young bash at heart and this, whatever that bash means. But somehow everybody just feels the same. It's only their perception that has bash manipulated and the trauma of the abuse that they have a sense of so-called control over and so much maturing in, and they've overcome so much and gotten through all the pain and this and this and now nothing. For surely they're still in suffering, still relentlessly working on themselves and this and this and just mantra, 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 affirmation, affirmation, and the abuse and trauma continues. Just temporary, 
temporary release from the Bashhood invasion of what? You guessed it. Lucifer. Not only has it invaded Bash, your image that you worship, he's invaded Bash, your notion of life. So, what you see and what you think you're living. But no, it had to be, uh, CPAs, people. Didn't you know they're the new face? CPAs have what it takes to advance business and society. This. They're what it takes to advance. Whoa, business and society. So just, okay, space or some past rocket, science, past green, go green, go green, or go home, bud, and relentless stacks of something. Chip technology. Yes, the motherboard, and this, this, and that, and that. This is the new face of CPA. Oh, care chartered professional accountants who knew... So everybody who's keeping account, right? Who's keeping account, everyone? Oh, surely these guys. They're like the bank, the World Bank, and this and this. The treasury, the grand treasury of Rome, and this and this. They're keeping accounts of everything. Traded, bought, and sold. Ultimately, human trafficking. Who knew? Who knew humans are the ultimate currency that you can come to bash? Who knew? And Satan knows that. That's why he hides it in the shadows, because surely he keeps you bash murmured and memorized with the bashhood violence and trading that you will actually allow in the living. Think that it's actually helping you when all while it's just bash consuming you, crushing you under its bash leather footprint of a steel boot smashing as hard as it can against some peanut. But no, it just had to be the salvation of the CPA. Thank you, Chartered Professional Accountants. Without you, we'd be nothing. Wow. We would all just be like this guy, just bash loving horses, apparently living some simple bash life. Right? This and this and this and that. And truly, well, you're like, well, you know, it reminds us of, you know, the values of the, you know, the, the, the country simple life. No, what shame. What shame. Life. Life. Sh life. What is life without God? It's nothing. And we're living proof of that. Just look around. Look like a, at the dissatisfaction of even the people that believe, say they believe in God. Because no, they adore some version of God. Surely not the living God who gave it his only begotten son. Christ Jesus, the saving word, the truth, the way, and the life to reveal to man that it is finished. He hath overcome it, the world, and risen above, resurrected by the Father. Who knew? And that shattered the ways of the world for a while. And Satan has now come back to deceive And he's stealing relentlessly and prowling until he just bash kills and destroys forever. Right? And you say, no, no, no. Man has been the one that has reached the point where he's just about to obliter obliterate everything. So he's in control. So that's why I listen to man. What a shame. So for to you, there's no such thing as a creator. So therefore, there's no such thing that could destroy Earth other than us or some bash meteor or some aliens. That's it. Or some bash solar winds or some bash solar radiation, whatever. Right. That's those are the only things. Otherwise, it's just us on Earth. And we, we are polluting so much that we're just raping the Earth relentlessly and we are in control of it. Amazing. You're so in control of your bash future that that's why everybody is just desolate bash void even in their so-called success still unfulfilled still seeking satisfying themselves with some bash pathetic love that they come to just take comfort in because it's it's at least security 
the relentless love of themselves that at least they cannot let themselves out if they've loved themselves enough. But then they keep on and justifying their own injustice. Who knew? And Bash being the hypocrite. And the child, of course, of today. And the Bash child under the deception knows that. And that's why they become what they Bash reject. In the sense of they hate the hypocrisy. So in their attempt to make something their way, they become what they hated. So we all up, we all end up supposedly becoming what we hated. So we hate the idea that God exists. So then, of course, that's etern eternal death. Blocks is the darkness forever. For it's the God God's ultimate judgment is the condemnation of your own choice. What you saw in life. Who you gave your life to. What servitude are you in? What is the source of your living? How does one convey the love of the Father? For truly he knows that he, underst he is under the unconditional love of the Father. There's no other way. What greater love exists than bringing life forth to even those that just choose to abuse it because surely he wants all his children to recognize the true promise life everlasting not this bashwood that we can come to just blow our brains out in no for that is truly evil wicked the most wicked man can do the most apparent wicked most wickedest things conceivable in the earth And that's what we use to justify our denial of God. Because to us, that's proof that there's no such thing. For surely he doesn't love us. He would protect us. He wouldn't allow for that to happen. Right. But what do you call a Pash that just controls and tells you what to do? A tyrant. And you're all about rebelling against that, right? And this and this and that and this and this and that. Right. So who knew you have a creator that loves you so much that even though he knew that you would bash disobey he still bash created you anyway and he has a covenant with man who knew life forever with God and of course if it's life without God for you then of course it will be that forever and you're like well it's not so bad I'm going to be in Mars doing some eco-village, you know, just having a simple life in Mars. Don't you know, bud? Exactly, because it could be whatever relative cooked up dream 7.86 billion of us have, right? It could be any of those, according to you, because yeah, it could be anything. Just go out and make it. And this and this and that and that and this and this. And yet still things are smashed and people are just declining, declining, declining. People are saying, well, the children are having to say what the truth is because we're to, the adults are to blame now. We're the ones that put all the plastic in the ocean. So, tis tisk, tis tisk. Finally, finally the children have the courage to stand up because we adults certainly didn't. Standing ovation for the children. Yes, standing ovation to the children. Thank goodness for the children because otherwise we would have been bashed. No. Who knew life? Brings forth life. Mothers, the women of all the earth, right? Men, the beacon of Christ Jesus to be instilled and known in the flesh. The only certainty. Yes. The truth, the way, and the life. The wisdom of the Father that alloweth one to endure the sufferings of the world in the mortal state outside of God in doubt. But no, to you it's, uh, I'm just learning how to tie my shoes. Leave me alone. Well, CPAs. Because these guys didn't have a clue. This guy was nothing because he didn't know how account how accounting worked. He he certainly didn't know what to count. He certainly didn't know what was worth anything. And he certainly didn't know how to 
love and what love was. He certainly didn't know that. Nope, no clue. He had no notion. And God, eh, he 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 did know that. He did know that he, there was a creator. And this and that, possibly. There's signs of, you know, religion, maybe. This and that and this and that. Who knows? It could be anything. But apparently, they were just smashed. Because they were just rubbing st stones together, people. Just stones. They were just smashing stones on their heads. That's why this guy has a big bump. Because he was too stupid to know that you don't smash a rock on your forehead, buddy. And so he was like, oh. That hurt. I will learn that and pass that down in my evolution to the, my next of kin. And hopefully they will learn not to smash rocks on their forehead. Okay. Let's move on. What a shame. For surely there's, there's no such thing as evolution. It's life bringing forth life in its own kind. Well, who knew? Forever. In the sense of, well, certainly in generations. So you can this this guy can cook up a story, right? And then have a child, and then they they will grow up maybe hearing that cooked up story, and he will pass that down, right? So fine, you say exactly that information got t passed down, and he wouldn't have known it if this guy didn't say it. But surely, if it was something that he came to know in life, meaning was aware in life, why would somebody else not see it if they're in life too? It would be nearly impossible. You would truly have to be blind. Exactly. So we're all just blind out there. It's a blind leading the blind. No clue leading to no clue. It's just blackness and darkness. And we're all copying a feel, everyone. Everyone's just copying a feel. And they say yes to it sometimes. And they say no. Until they get to say when to feel and when not to feel. And this and this. And wow, wow, wow. Amazing. All just a steering of emotion by some image of this bash half ape. Who knew? And this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and who knows? All because all the true signals, right? How do you know what signal is true? And this, and this, and we have relentless theories, and this. And we're building so many things that we can just shape shift and create newer and better things. But apparently, people created build things in the past to last. Everybody, even in the, in the 90s, well, no, but it's certainly in the 40s and 50s, people were making things to last. Nowadays, nah, it's just so frivolous. Everything's just things so, it's so porous. It breaks the third use. You might get, you know, a few months out of something supposedly new, but then it smashes and just smashes, and you have to buy a new one. Don't you know it's just the way it works? It's just progress, progress, progress. And it's just a way amazing. That's how we're going to get to space by cutting corners. We're going to, but no, 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 no. We're going to not cut corners for that because it's so important. Oh, so then, uh, we're not important since we're just bash or just, they're just so mundane that, well, we can afford to just not care about it and not care about us or care about anything, even though we both would care so much. Wow. What a shame. Everyone has faith more in their bash so-called system or how they say they can fix it or bash point out the bashes in it and say, see, look, how we can come to fix it this how, this way. No. No. It's all been a bash cooked out orchestrated plan by Lucifer to just steer man into, you guessed it, becoming some, some like this guy. Some bash ball of knots just with sunglasses because they still need to look cool even though they're all tangled up. What a shame, right? For who truly is out there just... Th living. People don't know what that is anymore. What is it to live? Why aren't people living? And you're like, yeah, exactly. We're the walking dead. No. We're all alive. Yet... We're serving a master. Which master are we serving? Is it the true promise or the rebellion from it?
And you're like, well, surely Lucifer gave us enlightenment, bud. So I'm going with that guy because he's giving us technology. So yikes. If that makes me a Satanist or Luciferian, well, geez, I don't know what to say because somehow it's just amazing. Right, because everybody accepts all the abuse and bash violence and bash just trauma that people do relentlessly day in, day out. But somehow it's, it's going to get better because we have all the Dr. Phil's and the Dr. Oz's and all the technology that's smashing into smithereens and going to bash and smash into other bash dust and somehow, somehow it's going to cook us into the next call. And hopefully the people ahead of us will say, man, those guys were cap these Those people were eating meat? Oh, what shame. Just like we look at these bash guys like, wow, those guys were just living in caves? Oh, what shame. Surely it was because the ancient aliens hadn't come down yet and shown them how to live for real. Ugh, what a shame. And people buy that and people believe that. Right, because it couldn't be the whispers in the night that just l led men to start cooking up the dust in a way that would create an image for them that they could pursue in false promise. All the while using and abusing the life that's given day in, day out to achieve glory in the flesh. To achieve praise and boast of some legacy that's launching you into the abyss. Darkness and blackness forever. Death worshippers. Manipulators. Orchestrators of the masses. For what? Death and destruction. For a temporary illusion of fantasy. And everything that mesmerizes and thrills and excites. But only for a little while. So just YOLO everyone. For surely there's no such thing as a father's wisdom. And the creator's resolve. And the love unconditional from a true living God. Nope. And surely there's no such thing as the truth. The way and the life. And no such thing as what? The ability to know the word. What is, what is it that is spoken that is undeniable. And we can deny all day. But that's just rejection. Rejection of what? Something that we have come to deny. But the image that it represents for us. We have a cooked up story and narrative. Of what God is. Of, of what the relentless Jesuses are out there. Who knows? There's so many versions of Jesus. But ultimately... What the true promise is, the word. But even if we never read the word, that it was written in a pages called the Bible, the Holy Bible, everyone knows in their heart that something is a stir, something is something is a ray. Okay, Every, something is not right, and then you get sucked into portals of truthers and this and, and conspiracies and bash and bash, and it just makes people cynics. It makes people just bash, resent even more and hate the world even more all while looking out there to, to somehow separate but also not bash, turn on those who actually care. To turn to the communities and those who have built something, guys. We can, we can make it happen. We have to be the beacons of truth and this and this. The truthers. Talk about the... Bash Illuminati and the Masons and the control of the Bash money and this and this and the religious occult fascists that just violate children and this. So, and then what? All oh, their murders and they're cooking up and just stealing and this and that and this and this and manipulating. Bash, bash, bash. Okay, for just for no reason. Oh, well, they, they feel that that's how they live forever. They're just stealing the energy from the children and this and this and that and this and this and the other. Uh, but ultimately, they just want to create an AI that's going to bash and allow them to transfer their information into some other bash and live forever. Oh, what shame. They don't give a damn about life forever. They care about a life filled with whatever they want. That's all they want. The true magician. Making appear what you would want. Making a manifest. Just psh, transformation. Instant. That's what That's what people want. And they're building, cooking up some bash way to do it somehow. Whoa. But no, and people say, no, all you have to do is rearrange and transcribe. And retranscribe your DNA. Your, and just, you can do it. You think it, and well, it's going to be. Wow, what a shame. 
abusers of life, deniers of God. Return to the Father. Seek refuge in His truth, His way, His life. For truly we're in the image and likeness of God. We have His nature. We are like Him. We are not God. We are like Him. In the sense of, wow, even though we see the knowledge of good and evil, it is not for us to be the synthesis of good and evil. We have faith that God is the standard of goodness. And stand with it in truth all the way. It's the only thing that doesn't let you down. Everything else will. And you say, no, well, I it's a bad people died around me. This Wow, fine. So it's murder if, if God creates life, but also what? Brings it to an end? Is that murder? You're like, no, they just had so much to live. You know, it's not fair. Right, so you say what well, it's unfair because you have some standard of fairness, right? This and this and that. Or it's just loss, right? Loss. You feel it's there it's lost. That person is just lost, gone. Right. So you you're angry at that, but every person that's living and bash following a lost way, right? Just a false promise. No no no, that's actually caring. Let them just fall. Let's just fall fall away. Right? But no, you get angry when people actually just fall away too. And you call that dying. No, no, no. It's different, Bash. Don't you see? No. What a shame. That is what a parent does, right? They're like, oh, well, I'll just wait till they die. Till, so then they knew what it was to die. And I shouldn't have told them what it was. Mm. Or what it means to die forever. No, no, no. It doesn't mean a thing. There's no wisdom in that. No, for it's just all cooked up myths and they're all bashed. There's solar worship and moon worship and bash this and that, about blah, blah, Not nothing. That is what the, that's what Lucifer wants you to believe. That is somehow just another bash version of worship of him. The light. He has created a masterpiece of Fantasia. The little bash sorcerer just flashes all the little things he does and we're all mesmerized in it just immediately tickled in the dark. What a shame. We'll end it there.